Thank you very much. If you could elaborate why you believe that the current light tight oil boom in the U.S. is unsustainable? Uh, well, the problem with the oil shales and oil sands uh, is that you need to constantly replace the declines in your current wells. The wells decline very fast, something like 70 80 percent within the very first year. So for every well you drill the year after that, you have to replace it with at least one more well. And then if you're going to sustain production and increase it, you have to constantly multiply rigs. Right now, the U.S. has about uh, 1,400 rigs drilling and about 400 doing uh, gas, and that's the limit. That's the total fleet. So there aren't any rigs to go in much higher. So this uh, current debate that's going on inside the industry about the possibility of the U.S. exporting crude, do you feel that that is a, a conversation that needs to be had at this point? The, the U.S. crude is not really that desirable, frankly. It's a very light crude. Uh, it's so light that it doesn't, uh, it doesn't give you the kind of yields that a modern refinery requires. So it's, uh, it's convenient in the U.S. It's uh, in a location near the refineries. It's underpriced and therefore competitive. But to export, it, it wouldn't be very attractive. And with all the new supply that's coming online in the U.S. and Saudi Arabia producing over 10 million barrels per day, why do you think prices are still elevated at the current levels? Yeah, well, actually, this is a little bit of a misunderstanding. There is additional production in the U.S., so the production total now is maybe around 7.5, going to 8. But the consumption is still 18 million. So the U.S. still consumes a lot more oil than it produces, and, and as a consequence, its production hasn't really affected the global markets.